Today's assembly is going to be in the library. A new challenge, but usually we wouldn't be able to fit 350 students in here. So it's quite exciting that you can share the library with me today. Over the holidays, lots of you have been reading. I've just been reading a really nice book about our world. I know that many of you have also entered the challenge of the photo competition and you'll hear lots and lots of stories about that through our Facebook and our bulletin later on today. In assembly today we're going to have merits and you're going to see those usual familiar faces, your house captains, and we're going to have accelerated reading, we're going to have pen licenses, and Ms. Ranger is going to introduce the new challenge for next week, which is going to be a very different but exciting challenge, and not forgetting cupcakes. So enjoy assembly and have a great morning. Over to house leaders. Hello Hawkhouse and welcome to today's assembly. I'm glad to be presenting four Hawk students who've been working really hard at home. Now the following are the names. Now they're getting certificates for the star student of the week during Baobab at home. The first one is Luca from 5H and the second one is Ben from 6M. The third one is Cora from 2F and the fourth one is Fabio from 1J. Well done Hawk and keep it up. Thank you and bye bye. See you. Isn't this a beautiful day? Hello everyone, this is Eagle House Captain from the Eagles Headquarters coming up at you with the merits for this week. I'm sure you guys are all working really, really hard trying to complete the work set up by your teachers, helped by your parents, so you can give a clap to your parents for all their help. Um, this week, the merits in Eagle House goes to Zachary in 3J and Adam Safiadin in 4T for working extra, extra hard and being very, very helpful uh, around the house. Please keep up the good work and uh, I look forward to see you very soon. Lots of love. Bye. Hey there, Falcon House, and well done to all of you for all your hard work this week. Keep it up. I have a couple of merit certificates to call out today. The first one is for Ryder in 2F. Well done, Ryder. I have another one, and this one is for Cheyenne in year 4M. Well done, Cheyenne. We have a merit for Levi Cradolfa in 5S. Well done, Levi. I have one for Suleiman Sise in year 1 Mopani. Well done, Suleiman. I have a merit for Aryan Desai in 6E. Well done, Aryan. And last but not least, one for Manaya in year 3L. Well done to you and to the rest of the Falcons. Keep working hard. Can't wait to call out more names. Now we move on to AR reading. Good morning. It's lovely to see you all. Um, well, not really see you all, but it's lovely to know that you're on the end of, or the other side of the computer screen watching this video. Um, I hope you're all well and looking after each other and I hope you're being absolutely fantastic for your parents and families. I'm going to do the AR certificates now and it's really lovely to see so many people reading and using my on already. Um, please keep this up. So uh, we're going to announce the um, awards for the rising reader. Remember, I only read out the first um, certificate in each level. Ava, Johanko and Gabrielle, well done you got your Rising Reader Awards. Uh, for the Super Reader, we have Zed, Ryan, Ali, Balang, Tinyanta and Zach. Well done. For the Advanced Reader, we have Ayana, Jaya, Mumba, Nakuyela, Vera, Mohammed, uh, Mohammed Patel, sorry, Fernando, uh, Adam and Ruth. You're doing absolutely fantastic. Well done. For the star readers, we have Mohammed Sise, Riley, uh, Maya, uh, Maya Karen, and uh, Kiara. 
This is fantastic. Keep reading, guys. And finally, for the classic reader, we have Ahmed Metvali. Um, Well done. I'm really, really proud of you all, all of you, even if you haven't had certificates this week. Um, I'm going to also announce some word millionaires and some multimillionaires. There's lots of word millionaires, so I'm just going to read out your names, but you have read over a million words. Jaya, Jaden, Rami, Purav, Mohammed Sise, Kian, and Ruth. You have read over a million words. Well done. Fantastic. And our multi-millionaires. Mohammed Ifran Patel, you have read over two million words. Aryan Desai, you have read over two million words, two million four hundred thousand words. Quinn, you have read two million six hundred thousand words. And finally, Ezra, you have read over four million words. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm so proud of you all. Keep reading, keep doing fantastic. And I hope we'll all be able to see each other very, very soon. But anyway, keep safe. Take care. Congratulations to the following year fours in achieving their fountain pen license. Well done to Andre, Mohammed, and Kalisa. Good morning, primary school. I'm here to introduce next week's photo competition challenge. As you may have guessed, we want you to bake. Spend time in the kitchen, make something yummy, maybe even for your family. Take a, po uh, take a picture and then send it to the school email that'll later appear on screen. It's a great a way to spend some time whilst at home and the best part is you get to eat it too. Looking forward to seeing your pictures. Now for a little bit of a surprise. What is it like to learn at home? Let's hear from Riley in year five and Wangela from Muzukesi. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you my workspace and where I do everything that Miss Enches, Miss Panda or Miss Chilemu shows, tells us to do. I sit here Right now I'm doing my grammar and as you can see I have everything ready, I have everything opened, I have my timetable there to, to know what I'm doing. Now I'm going to be telling you about my daily routine and what time I wake up. I wake up at 6.30 to get ready for school at 7. I eat breakfast and usually it takes about 15 minutes. And for those 15 minutes left, I get ready for school to do all of my work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, let's go! Good day, children. This is Mrs. Oppermenya in my working station at home. I always have the lovely job of announcing the cupcake winners. And I believe there have been children in your groups who have been working really hard. So this week our cupcake winners are the year twos. Well done to you guys. I'm looking forward to hear from all the other grades soon. And when we come back to school, we'll have a cupcake day where we all enjoy our lovely cupcakes that you've earned. See you soon. Bye. This brings us to the end of our assembly. Before we go, I would just like to wish all those children who had a birthday in April. Many happy returns. I hope you had a fantastic birthday and lots of celebrations. And next week, we're going to be in a different venue. It's going to be very exciting because I've got a few days to think about where it will be. I've got lots of lovely opportunities in our beautiful school. We're also going to see Mr. Mafia, who's going to play some music for us, and Mr. Gondway. I know he's been keeping tabs on your exercise, and I know you've been sending in times, so keep it up 
and keep exercising, super important at the moment. And also we're going to announce house captains. So year six, look out, watch carefully. We're gonna have six new house captains for next term. Last but not least, I'd just like to remind you of the golden rules that we have at Baobab. Now, in no particular order, I'd like to remind you that number one, I know you've been doing this, you work hard, number one. Number two, you need to be honest. Have you done that homework? Yes, that's the, about being honest. Look after property, that means pack away, pack your homework away, keep your bedroom tidy, help around the house. And number four, which some people struggle with, is to listen. So listen carefully, you never know, you might miss some really important instructions at home and to your teachers when they're doing some videos to send home to you. And number five, be kind and helpful. These are really important rules which I hope that you're working on at home. I wish you all a fantastic weekend and a lovely week ahead. Take care.